What's going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Tom Coman, Connors, professional street basketball player and multiple Guinness World Record holder. This is the home. This is garden drills. This is the area that we're going to be learning um, how to do street ball moves, freestyle moves, trick shots, shooting techniques, and way, way more. So today's drill, okay, and tutorial is how to shoot for intermediate level basketball players. If you're not professional basketball players, this is where you want to be um, learning this technique now to become a pro. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the shooting tutorial, guys. Okay, so we've done a lot of different shooting um, drills for beginners, intermediate, um, pro level on my YouTube channel, okay? As long as you've got that, that nice balance of the basketball here, elbow straight facing the, the hoop, left hand right here, shoulders square towards the hoop, legs bent, right foot slightly ahead of the left foot, okay? The tutorial should be right here next to me to learn how, that technique. This is what we're looking for, guys, the perfect technique. So this one now is for intermediate level, okay? So, I want to explain to you the difference between an extension, a full extension of the arm and flick wrist, to I guess what's different with an arm halfway extended with a, with a flick, okay? And that's the difference I think between, I wouldn't say the difference between professional and intermediate because different people have different techniques to shoot in, but hopefully this video will show you the different levels, okay, of the both shots. So let me explain. So. Let's just start down here now by the basketball hoops. We can start nice and simple, okay? So obviously, guys, we're at intermediate level. We know what we're doing, okay? So we're looking at shooting off the backboard with a full extended arm and a flick of the wrist, okay? So the arm is fully extended. Wrist comes out at the same time, okay? Step a little bit away here so you can see it maybe a bit better, okay? So. I do not flick the wrist, okay, until my arm is pretty much extended fully, okay? The motion is obviously seamless, so it doesn't even look like you're doing one before the other, okay? So it's, it's, the, fully, it's the fully extended arm that we're, we're looking for. So I'll put up a couple of shots with this technique, okay? Obviously not jump shots, whatever, just chilling. Okay, so the arm is, is fully extended, okay? Now this is, to me, an intermediate shot, not a professional basketball player's shot, okay? But like I remember what I said, different players have different techniques, so don't get that twisted, okay? So again, it's, it's something I don't find very natural because I've been working on my touch for a long time, okay? So I'm extended here, okay? You, I know it all looks in one motion, but my arm is pretty much extended, okay? And my, and my wrist at the same at the same time is going in. So, so now I'm gonna show you the, a, a great shot, a free throw um, with an extension, and you can see it uh, in full, full motion because most people do a full extension when they do uh, a free throw, okay? So let's go again. Bear with me on this for now, because I'm going to explain something to you, okay? So, okay, so it, my arm is fully extended, okay? Now, what I believe is right, and like, you know, which I'm trying to explain in this, is a shooter's touch. Um, you'll see it, you know, you'll see great shape, Ray Allen, um, Steph Curry, um, you know, many, many players over the years, um, you know, even Larry Bird going back, they're, they're, their shots, okay, were with a half extended arm. So they were never, um, it, this doesn't happen all the time, by the way, so don't be writing loads of comments, you know, saying I'm wrong, because they, this, is, this is more of an explanation between the two differences about a pro shot touch, a shooter's touch, so bear with me, okay? because I know some, I've seen Steph Curry shoot with a full extended arm. That probably would be on a fadeaway jump shot or someone on him. But trust me, when he's shooting open, he won't have an extended arm. Same with lots of great, great shooters out there, okay? Lots of professional players in the NBA or shooters that are, 
that are not what you call, you know, the best shooters in the league, natural shooters, a shooter's touch, they would have more of an extended arm, okay? But great shooters work on a touch, okay? All right, so you may have heard the expression, oh, he's got the shooter's touch when it comes off the rim, okay? Okay, so there we go. So we're now gonna, I, I shoot with half an extended arm and I flick with the wrist. Okay, so let me put up a couple of jump shots so you can try and see the difference, okay, from different views, okay? So this is more natural now for me, a flick. Okay, you won't, you won't see a fully extended arm, okay? You'll see a flick, okay? Even though I just missed that, I won't be missing this one, I'll tell you that. Okay, so it's the flick that I'm looking for. Okay, the shooter's touch, okay? My arm is almost extended there, okay? Where they, where they become more and more extended, obviously the further you are away from the basketball hoop, okay? So obviously then you, might, you need the extra power, maybe the extra little bit. But I'm, I'm looking at half, half my arm here. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you are, it's, it's, the, it's the flick of the wrist that we're looking for. Doesn't matter how close, my arm is never extended. Okay, so guys, I don't know how far away I'm now, maybe 22 feet. 22 feet, I reckon, maybe on average. So we don't want to have that fully extended arm. We still want to use that flick in motion, that shooter's touch. But now when you're out around these areas, okay, you're going to have to start using your legs. Okay, so you're looking for a nice jump shot, but you can still use that shooter's touch, okay? So it's, again, the arc is, um, sorry, the arm is not extended fully. We're not looking for a fully extended shot, okay? So same thing, jump shot, okay? It's, it, I, I, imagine that was almost fully, okay? But this is the difference between an intermediate shot, okay, and going to that professional, um, that professional shoot is touch, that professional shot, okay? So no matter where you are, if you're on a fadeaway, you can extend that arc on a fadeaway because you've got, you've been working on that touch, okay? Does that make sense? If you're open, you don't need to, okay? If someone's coming to guard you, you can then go and have the, the, the arm fully extended. It gives you two options. And again, it's the difference between the intermediate levels and the pro level becoming a great, sh uh, great shooter. How do you get a touch, guys? How to get a nice touch? There's a couple of techniques I used to do. Um, the first one is just stand un underneath the hoop straight on because it will catch you out. We wanna, we don't wanna have an extended arm shooting, okay? We don't want that, okay? We don't want that. We want uh, a, a flick off the wrist, okay? We want a nice shooter's touch here, okay? We wanna be looking for swishes. Perfect practice means perfect, okay? Now I'm telling you what, you put up a hundred of them and don't miss, that's okay. what we want, okay? Here we go. You wanna go for the side, same thing. Just use the wrist, don't extend the arm, okay? By the side, you might spend, um, well, I, I'll tell you what I used to do, I used to do a hundred shots um, each side, left, right, and front. 300 shots, and I used to step out and do another 100, 100, 100, 100. And I used to try and put up about 5,000 jump shots a day when I was practicing. So it takes you all day, okay? Okay, so that's one technique. The other one is a nice finger roll touch, okay? From underneath the hoop. So you wanna be spinning the basketball off your hands. We wanna have your arm extended, and it's almost like a finger roll, a nice finger roll up. Um, and off the backboard, and you want to be spinning it in, and you want to use just the flick of the wrist, okay? We're not sort of extending the arm, make sure, like a hook shot, we don't want that. So this is what we want to try and, and have, okay? All right, it's just working on a touch there. <laughs> no one to get a nice shooter's touch is a nice finger roll where you, you roll the finger, um, the roll of the basketball off the wrist, and it just goes in the hoop, okay? It's just a nice arc extend, and you roll like that. See you tomorrow. Friday. So again, you want a nice flick of the wrist, okay? 
nice. Doesn't have to, you don't have to jump high. I'd probably suggest not to jump high so that you you have more of a, a more of a flick off your wrist, okay? So it's just down low, you want to just be able to flick it up. Okay, these, these three techniques um, help you get a shooter's touch. Okay, uh, again, difference between the pro and intermediate level is normally a touch, the extra little flick, the range of shots, the motion. Everybody shoots this way every single time with a fully extended arm, it's, you know, which is great, but you, you know, you gotta have, be able to have some other moves if you shoot when you are half arm extended, okay? When you're coming along fadeaways here, you can then come off the bank and use your elbow and your wrist in many, many different ways. Hopefully you guys understand the difference now between um, a good shooter and a great shooter, okay? It's the shooter's touch. So work on that touch, okay? Finger rolls off that hand, hundreds of them, okay? Little tiny flicks used to be on my bed at night and I used to shoot up at the ceiling and I never wanted to touch the ceiling but I wanted to get as close as possible to the ceiling. Just working on my flick and working on that touch, okay? Hopefully this can help you guys reach that next level, okay? I'll be back here again for another Garden Drills um, very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching me and my family. Really appreciate it. Head over to my Facebook and Instagram for way, 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 way more stuff, trick shots, behind the scenes stuff, TV shows, street ball moves, and all the other cool stuff that I'm lucky enough to get up to because I work hard. You guys work hard, anything's possible, trust me. I'll see you guys very, very soon.